Hey folks, uh, Sanjeev here from World Robotics League. Today I am joined by Rajiv to talk about why we started World Robotics League. Right. Quite often we get asked what is World Robotics League and why we started it. So World Robotics League is a robotics competition for students of all ages to participate using variety of robotics kits and programming languages. The focus of World Robotics League is almost purely on technical merit and provable excellence from kids. As engineers in our respective fields, we strongly believe that the future does not necessarily belong to those who are full of facts or those who work hard. Instead, in addition to these skills, it is the entrepreneurial fiber that will determine the future. The entrepreneurial skill consists of first, know-how, and second, hands-on skills and ability to shape the ideas to actual implementation of products and solutions. Thus, World Robotics League provides this venue and training as part of its core operation. Well, Rajiv and I started World Robotics League because we realized that kids that are interested in robotics are limited in learning as well as application of what they have learned. By offering a wide range of challenges, the participants are pushed to learn new kind of mechanisms and controls. Additionally, an in-depth understanding and ability to apply the principles learned in class to real life problems give a context to the core principles of STEM. When learning by doing, students learn to look at a problem from multiple angles. For example, it's not only important to build a complex end effector, but it's also important to understand how it affects the overall, overall uh, structural integrity uh, of the model or how any design change shifts the center of the gravity of the robot and hence its stability. Exactly. We realize that the most effective way to teach the robotics is by instilling the values of constant learning and experimentation by tackling challenges that force the kids to think in multiple dimensions. To do this, we created World Robotics League, which provides a platform for kids to learn robotics via competitive sport with levels of progression and provable growth. Through World Robotics League, we are supplementing the STEM education especially the technology and engineering portions. As the, both, as the two of you, uh, we looked into the state of STEM education in schools, we realized that despite recognition of STEM as core to the success of the next generation, most of the uh, institutions have not been able to provide an effective framework. It is frustrating to see the schools putting tablets and apps in hands of children with the thinking that uh, music, pictures, and animations combined together with apps ought to do the magic. However, in our experience and understanding, more than anything, such medium on one hand distracts the kids and on the other hand moves them away from appreciating and establishing a context and ability to see the science in the world around them. The ability to visualize the physical world with a scientific eye especially impacts 3D spatial reasoning and the ability to deal with the mechanical aspects of robotics. Rajiv, who is a mechanical engineer by trade, can better explain this. Thanks, Sanjeev. Let's take for example the scenario where when pushed to do a process planning and make the robot work in autonomous fashion, an individual is forced to establish a context and delve deeper into the principles of geometry and math. When trying to solve different kind of push, pull and placement challenges, kids come to appreciate the role of things such as center of gravity, friction and importance of structural integrity. What we found was that there aren't any leagues that offer an ample wide spectrum of challenges to fully engage a kid's intellect. Not only that, they are fairly repetitive and hence do not provide enough opportunities to apply principles they have learned in various ways. Not only that, significant portion of the competitive effort is offline, where many solutions are handed over by coaches and parents. Just like a great game of soccer, there must be element of surprise and novelty that pushes out of box thinking. The challenge format should be cohesive between various categories and student skills should be obviously quantifiable. An evaluation must reflect individual's abilities and limitations. From personal experience, when we were pursuing our engineering degrees, we saw kids who excelled in academics, but were not necessarily sound engineers because they only had bookish knowledge without any hands-on experience. On the other hand, we had students that were extremely hands-on, like the kid who invented a broadcast announcement system for
for the entire hostel using nothing more than spare parts from an old broken FM radio system. That is what we want to encourage since it creates successful inventors. Finally, most engineers tend to over-engineer solutions in terms of unnecessary complexity since they only are trained with facts without any hands-on training. The training process should help them recognize where the theory meets practical. In reality, Usually most problems can be translated to simple prototypes using simple concepts, mainly by tons of hands-on experimentation and repetition. So in summary, Worldwide Sleep provides that platform where theoretical knowledge meets the reality of experimentation through repeated challenges. Kids that participated in World Robotics League have won prizes at well-recognized science fair projects, published paper in prestigious journals, and presented in conferences. Finally, with fantastic results in First Lego League, with kids that are engaged throughout the year and with multiple awards including state championships in both the state of Texas as well as the state of Washington, we can confidently say that World Robotics League is the right venue with an amazing practical oriented competition for your kids. With that, we hope to see you at a World Robotics League uh, competition. Signing off, this is Sanjeev from the state of Washington. And Rajiv from Texas.